Welcome. My name is George Davis, and I am the student body president of Dixon High School. I would like to begin today's ceremony by welcoming you all and asking you to join me in the invocation of our Lord. Dear Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be in one another's presence today as we celebrate the ending of an important chapter in our lives and the beginning of the next one, together as one body. We are thankful for your guidance over the last four years, teaching us perseverance over events out of our control and using your moral compass, Lord, to guide us through the successes and failures that each of us have overcome to be where we are today. We are thankful for our family, friends, peers, teachers, counselors, administrators, and all of the faculty at not only Dixon High School, but all of the other institutions that we have encountered over the last 13 years of our lives that have supported us throughout this journey. We thank you, Lord, for sharing your most valuable lessons with us and granting us the power to not only solve algebra equations, but to love one another, serve one another, and care for one another as responsible young adults and soon-to-be graduates of Dixon High School. Lord, we finally ask that you continue your loving and guiding spirit as a reference of how to live in the upcoming years of our lives and beyond. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Now, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our national anthem. You may now be seated. Welcome to the commencement ceremony of the class of 2021. Family members, students, and Dixon High School's honorable faculty and staff alike have worked long and hard, especially this year, to ensure that we celebrate our successes and transition to Dixon High School alums. To the families, I would like to thank the caregivers in attendance of today's ceremony for being here, as the last four years of our high school journey would not have been possible without your support. You have taught us life lessons and love through some tough times. To the friends in attendance today, you know who you are. We have our differences but we are all bulldogs. Alone, we can accomplish some, but with all, we can change the world starting here in our own community. 
to the faculty and staff of Dixon High School. Without you, there is no school, learning or inspiration to gain knowledge from admirable individuals like yourselves. You have inspired the class of 2021. You have motivated. Graduates, we did it. Together, we are gathered in one room for one ceremony after a year that has been nothing short of remarkable. I am proud of each and every one of you and all of the accomplishments, both large and small, that you have completed this year. We have learned to be mature young adults and perform well, not only inside of the classroom, but outside as well. While intelligence is only a mere part of what encompasses a student, it is an important factor in contributing to the successes in our future. Educational merit, when combined with leadership, community involvement, and dedication, creates responsible young adults. I would like to introduce an individual who has exhibited these characteristics both honorably and admirably as the salutatorian of our class, Jordan Miller. Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to thank our guests, staff, friends, and families for celebrating our accomplishments. Thank you for your invaluable support and guidance through times of joy, stress, and crisis. Our experiences thus far have taught us the importance of resilience when facing hardships. I know we did not expect our sophomore, junior, and senior years to be filled with tumultuous events, but through the uncertainty, I am grateful to have had the presence of educators who worked beyond the classroom to provide our educational and social experiences. I encourage my fellow classmates to always be flexible. We face new academic and environmental challenges every year, but you have persevered. In the face of global discouragement and grief, we recognize tonight that it is with the support of our family, educators, and friends that we have made our high school experience memorable. We know that we cannot control everything around us, and our ability to persevere, especially in the midst of misfortune, has been essential for our success. I know we can accomplish anything with flexibility and curiosity to leave legacies larger than life and with intention. Thank you again for your presence here tonight. We take with us all the lessons you have taught us and memories you have shared. Now, we must look for ways to pay it forward. I have the honor of introducing our guest speaker. He is a native of the Sneeds Ferry community. He served in the United States Army and North Carolina National Guard. He was a partner in a law firm and then ran a solo practice before serving as a district court judge. He is a member, musician, and co-director of Jenkins Chapel Gospel Chorus, Senior Choir, and the Sneeds Ferry Community Youth Choir. He enjoys martial arts, photography, and music in his spare time. He is a husband, a father of six, and a grandfather, and it is my pleasure in introducing a Dixon High School alumnus from the class of 1970, the Honorable Judge Hardison. Thank you, Jordan, for that introduction. And let me say, first of all, good evening, class of 2021. Hello. This is not a funeral, so I want you people to be happy. First of all, to the principal, Mr. Smith, to the faculty and staff of Dixon High School, any elected officials that may be present to the parents, relatives, and friends of the class of 2020, 2021. And to you, the awesome, powerful, dynamic, and wonderful Dixon High School graduation class of 2021, 
Good evening, how are you? Are you ready to go? It is my honor today, as we assemble here, we're going to salute you, congratulate you, and honor you for a job well done, because it's your time. It's an honor to be your guest speaker today. I was looking around, and the reason I'm looking around, because we never had a gym that looked like this when I was here. <laughs> but it has been 51 years since I sat in your shoes. And I can remember sitting there and wondering, what am I going to do next? Well, some of you are probably wondering, do I go to college? Do I go to trade school? Do I get a job? Do I go to serve in the military? Which friends I might or might not see for a while? Or can I just stay home and live? Well, the answer to number four is no. I met some of your parents outside, they told me what to tell you. <laughs> and some of you may even be thinking about those teachers that you said you couldn't stand, that you never wanted to see again. But now that you've made it this far, you appreciate the love, the push, and the endurance. You're going to miss those teachers. For the remainder of this occasion, just sit back and enjoy. This is one moment in time, and it's all about celebrating your completion of your part of the journey by graduating here today. But class, I would be remiss if I didn't give you some directives. Your mama, your daddy, your grandmama, your granddaddy, your uncles, your aunts, your older brothers and sisters have done a lot to get you here. And so at this time, I want you to stand up and show them your appreciation for being here. Give your parents, your relatives, and others a round of applause. Thank you. Now, there's a poem by an unknown author that says, don't quit. When things go wrong, as it sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill. When the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh. When caring is pressing you down a bit, rust, rest if you must, but don't quit. You see, in the last 15 months you've been faced with circumstances and situations that many people have never seen before. You've had to deal with a pandemic which caused changes and cancellation in your daily lives and schedules. Those issues dealt with missing friends, school activities, being postponed or canceled. You had to deal with stress and other hardships. But I'm here to tell you, you persevered, you endured, and you stood the test. And then it goes on to say that life is strange with its twists and turns, as every moment of us sometimes learns, and, and many a failure comes about when he may have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. And I'm here to tell you that when you found yourself in those moments, you didn't understand or know exactly what to do. Sometimes you couldn't perform a task. Sometimes your internet started buffering like a circle on a, on a broke wheel. You had to find a way to get a good signal somewhere you wanted to scream, you wanted to yell, you wanted to throw that laptop out the window because of the frustrations, but you didn't quit. You stood the test. And so success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may seem near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when the things get worse that you must not quit. There were days when some of you felt like giving up, throwing in the towel, quitting. You felt like you were cramped, you were confused. You were claustrophobic. You thought you were going stir crazy. Thought you were losing your mind. But you began to see the sunlight at the end of the tunnel. You stood the test, and that makes you a winner. Now, Webster defines a winner as one that is successful especially through praise and worthy and hard work. 
You're a winner, not a quitter. Because a quitter is one who gives up easily and does not have the courage or the determination to finish the task. So instead of giving up, despite the differences, you made adjustments. You turned your challenges into opportunities, your disbelief into faith, and your despair into hope, which gave you the drive, determination to stay the course and finish the task. I remind you, a winner never quits, and a quitter never wins. So let me say this to you. If you plan to go to college, now listen to me. Listen to me carefully. First of all, as a parent of six, a set of triplets, yes, and they all went to college at one time. I'm talking about the parents now. Don't waste my money. So, young people, for those of you going to college, don't waste your parents' time or your money, their money, because everything that glitters is not gold. And excuse me, English teachers, everything that glitters ain't gold. <laughs> and let me be specific on this. Partying 101 does not give you any academic credits. So don't go to school and party and think you're going to stay. They're going to send you home. Now, some of you may be interested in some other programs. Some of those may be in some trade or in the military. But for those of you that want to stay home, your parents told me to tell you that the same rules that they had when you lived there, going to school, if you stay there after school, they still apply. Now, I'm going to be short on this because I'm ready to sit down. I have what is called the Parent Soap Opera TV Creed. And the parent said, I will remind all my children that they are not a beavers or a butthead, but they are the bold and the beautiful. Though they feel like the young and the restless, they re must respect them, their parents, through all the days of our lives. <laughs> that God will be your guiding light because you don't act too grown, too quick. You only have one life to live, remember that. Amen. But the parents said as long as you live where uh, they pay the bills, they pay the rent, they buy the food, you better not forget who's the boss. Because if you forget who's the boss, you may find yourself in another world or general hospital. <laughs> now, on a serious note to you, the parents and the families of these graduates, Thank you for juggling your schedules and your lives to make their dreams come true. To say thank you for a job well done and to the extended me members of the family, thank you for your support because it really does take a village to raise a child. And last but not least, I would be remiss if we, all of us, did not recognize and sincerely thank Principal Smith, the Dixon High School faculty and staff for their dedicated service, their time, their energy, and effort that they selflessly provided to these graduates and their parents in the midst of chaos, discomfort, and uncertainty. Your actions and deeds, Mr. Smith and the faculty and staff, your actions demonstrated and epitomizes the mission statement of Dixon High School. You demonstrated that you loved them, that you served them, and that you cared for them by the encouragement and support you provided to their journey. So as I conclude Dixon High School graduation class of 21, 2021, I'm going to say that you've been faithful, you've been true. You've done all that you can do. And for your faithfulness, it's your turn. You've waited for so long 
but you held on and you were strong. For your faithfulness is your time. You've encouraged the rest and everyone else when you needed it for yourself. You applauded for the rest. It's your time to be blessed. It's your time. Because of your faithfulness, your courage, and your drive, you've made it. We are happy and delighted to tell you we love you. We are proud of you. We honor you. We salute you. We congratulate you. Enjoy your lives on the next journey. Stay safe. It's your time. May God bless you and keep you. Now, we invite students, staff, and guests to sing with Miss Kensley, Dixon High School's alma mater, found in page six of the program. Please stand. Good evening, graduates, parents, family, friends, staff, Judge Hardison, our Board of Education member, Ms. Oakley, who's here tonight, and other distinguished guests. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate this important milestone of the class of 2021. Parents, it's been said that your greatest contribution to the universe may not be something you do, but someone you raise. I stand before you today to say that I know this to be true. You have raised extraordinary young men and young women. I am very proud of each and every one of them. They will continue to do great things, I have no doubt. Graduates, I'm truly blessed and honored to have been chosen to serve as your principal for your final year at Dixon High School. And this year especially, but of endless changes you have shown me through all just how bold and strong the bulldog spirit is. 
It has been humbling to watch you and your teachers remain steadfast through all the wavering times we have faced. Because of Hurricane Florence and COVID, your last three years of high school have been definitely been anything but normal. You have gone without time and time again these past few years. But your determination to face and overcome such obstacles and be sitting here tonight is a testament to your incredible grit and perseverance. Carry that same grit and tenacity to succeed with you when you leave here, and regardless of the obstacles that may come your way, your future is boundless. Continue to be the great young ladies and great young men that you are, and always remember to live by the bulldog mantra, love, serve, and care. Oprah Winfrey has a quote, everyone wants to ride with you in the limo, but what you want is someone who will ride, who will take the bus with you when the limo breaks down. Be the driver of that bus. Open those people with, open them with open arms. Share your vision of the road ahead. Use your experiences this far as your fuel, fuel for life. And most of all, enjoy the journey together. Dixon High School Bulldogs, you're awesome, you're the best, and you rock. Thank you. At this time, I would like to present the first candidate of the class of 2021, Havian Duree Hayes. Ethan Kendrick Adkins. Andrew John Aguilar. Olivia Celine Honor. Colin Grace Allnut. <laughs> Benjamin Matthew Anderson. <laughs> Alexis Renee Arant. <laughs> Autumn Janae Arancibia. Daryl Edwin Atha. <laughs> Vanessa Ray Adkins. <laughs> Maxwell Francis Bailey. <laughs> Anthony Joseph Bajkar. Hunter Reese Baylog. Sullivan McShane Barnes. Ethan Monaco Biotis. William Michael Black. <laughs> Q 
Keegan Albert Frazier Bowman. Lauren Marie Brannon. Brandon Alexander Bravo. Hayden Matthew Bridges. Walker Blake Brinson. Bradley Ethan Brooks. Mason Hollister Brown. Michaela Altania Bryan. Devin Lee Bryant. Jackson Peter Burns. Susanna Abigail Caceres Gerardo. Jenna K. Campbell. Carson Alexander Caps. Eve Marie Carpenter. Kaylee Elizabeth Carter. Riley Ashton Castine. Emily Ida Concepcion. Reagan Elizabeth Conley. Isadori Noel Cook. Jake Ashton Costner. Braden Michael Crawford. Hannah Noel Crimmins. Amber Rose Curry. Alan Cecil Davis. George Nicholas Davis. Donald Joseph Diamond. Ethan Scott Dodson. Ryan Celeste Downing.
Tatum Marie Edwards. Jacob Cole Eschler. Arturo Carlos Fabella. Decada Howard Faircloth. Jamar Joseph Fields. Jonathan Taylor Flores. Jaden Jada Jasmine Flowers. Max Allen Franken. Angel Lynn Frazier. Rebecca Nicole Gaskins. Leonard Gregory Giglieri. Ryan Nicholas Galetta. Jacob Stephen Glue. Adam Lee Godbold. Jose Alfredo Gonzalez. Giovanni Prince Green. George Deshawn Griffin. Robert James Grunemeyer. Golden. Skyla Renee Haddon. Angelina Marie Hall. Brayden Brent Hanna. Kaya Ann Hanzelka. Addison Cad Harper. Braxton Kyle Harper. Samuel Carson Harris the fourth. Jason Elijah Hayes. Jayla Marie Holloman. Jordan Sharia Hugh. Logan Tyler Hubbard. Savannah Shara Jean Hall. Casey Lee Isles.
Garrett Allen Jernigan. Leilani Taina Jimenez. Richard Pierre Jonas. DeAndre Jantes Jones. Coral Lang Kagerais. Kayla Rose Cam. Juliana Lynn Kerr. Jordan Elizabeth King. Stacia Noel Lambert. Ethan Christopher Libby. Kiana K. Levy. Joshua Brooks Mabry. Matthew Dominic Murata Jr. Tristan Raywood Marshburn. Alexander David Martin. Antonina Nicole Martin. Jacob Everett Martin. Joshua Brian McMichael. Cooper Adrian Miller. Jordan Miller. Kirsten Lynn Miller. Ethan Michael Millis. Sarah Kyleen Milner. Gabriel Nicholas Morales. Larry James Mitchell III. Deacon Blade Moody. Isabella Graciana Coletta Ariana Moore. Kayla Jordan Moore.
Khalil Eden Morgan. Nu Tahai Nguyen. Tyler Edwin Patrick North. Caitlin Nicole Ortiz. Salvador Ortiz Valdez. Travis Kyle Owens. Brayden James Paget. Austin Dean Parker. Kayla Leanne Parker. Coy Aiden Parker. Madeline Sarah Parker. Savannah Brooke Parker. Dominique Nicole Patterson. Jacob Daniel Peterson. Cairo Sincere Henry Powell. David Gregory Powell. Andrew Stephen Price. Austin Muller Rabideau. Mackenzie Hope Rabideau. Morgan Michelle Rademacher. Diego Raul Ramirez Lopez. Wilson Parker Raul. Rebecca Dawn Rayner. Tabitha Ann Rice. Majalis Eileen Rivera. Riley J. Rockwell. Elijah Raphael Rodriguez. Lane Vincent Rose. Laura Vanessa Sanabria Gutierrez. Sierra Tion Saunders. Ashley Marie Schaefer.
Dylan Coldiron Schooler. Emily Lucia Schulter. Cameron Tyler Scott. Sasha Avier Scott. Kate Elizabeth Scribner. Mackenzie Maria Sellers. Caitlin Mackenzie Shelley. Ryan Lynn Scott Shepherd. Chase Joseph Alexander Shepherd. Daniel Allen Sherwood. <laughs> Nadia Elise Simpson. <laughs> April Oceana Smith. Samantha Lynn Sonneveld. Marissa Ann Spangler. Skyla Brooks Stahl. Joseph Tanner Stancil. Landon Gregory Starnes. Remington Hunter Thompson. Avis DeAndre Tolliver. Jasmine Nicole Tootle. Sailor Jade Troutman. <laughs> Abdul Quadir Turner. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Tyler. <laughs> Elizabeth Tanner Urquhart. Maya Leanne Vega. Sean Anthony Walker. Mary Margaret Walls. Dylan Shane Walsh. Brian Watson.
David Levi Watson. Jacob Lee White. Riley Lynn Whitekettle. Lillian Grace Willard. Madison Faith Williams. Hope Christine Wood. Jessica Lee Wright. Taylor Leilani Yeoman. Riley Jane Young. Now please help me recognize and welcome to the podium Ashley Schaefer, Dixon High School's valedictorian for the class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Smith and Havian. It is an honor to speak before you all today. I would like to congratulate all of my peers on this amazing accomplishment and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Our time at Dixon has been noted by a spectacular staff, and I want to give a sincere thank you to the outstanding teachers and administrators that make our school so special. I would like to give a round of applause for our wonderful staff for making this event happen. In times of uncertainty, we are so lucky to have a kind staff standing behind us, working so hard to watch us succeed. And look at us now, on our final day as high schoolers, these past four years have been marked with uncertainties and tragedies, from hurricanes to pandemics. All of the graduates here today are a success story, facing unprecedented times with courage and perseverance. This has been a true testament to our commitment to succeed, a theme that will be present as we continue on in our careers. As we recollect on our time at Dixon, we see shared stories and experiences that made our high school career so memorable. Whether it be the fond memories of Mr. Capico's many asides about his mini golf business, or facing the blunt end of Miss Boone's remarks that we did not always want to, but needed to hear. From hallway conversations and club meetings, homecoming games and spirit weeks, some of the best memories were the small ones made between the walls of our school. If there is one thing I have learned in the past four years is the meaning of the little things. Long lectures were alle alleviated by small talk in between PowerPoint slides. The dread of waking up early was made better by a smiling face in the hallway. As we split paths, I hope that you will remember to find significance in the small things and take time to appreciate them before they are gone. As we embark on a new chapter in our lives, I hope you take the hard work, kindness, and humor that you have developed here. Your future is now in your hands, and the possibilities are endless. We're all worthy and have the perseverance to take on these new obstacles. Live with compassion and confidence. Take advantage of your life because you only have one. And remember, you're awesome, you're the best, and you rock. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2021. I would now like to invite Havian Hayes back to the podium. It has been my pleasure to serve as your senior class president. Though our years at Dixon High School students may have come to an end tonight with this ceremony, we will forever remain Dixon Bulldogs. We will remember our times here and the friendships we have made. 
Remember the value of a smile and a kind word. If no one has told you today that they love you, know that I do. Class of 2021, would you please rise? Now, please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, you are now official graduates of Dixon High School.